What I love the most about astral projection is the fact that you get to find out as to which gods are real or false. I find that a lot of the Chinese deities tend to actually exist in the astral plane. Well, specifically the fairy dimension. Yes, there is a plane of existence which has what are known as fae. They don't all look like little people with wings. Fae can look like all types of things, from very short dwarfs to giants, as well as Chinese deities. I'm not sure why they like to hang out there, they just do. I met a geisha there once. She was accepting gifts from those who have just passed on. I didn't really um, find her too welcoming though. She seemed to be very greedy and she didn't like humans a whole lot, you know? I also tend to find that whilst venturing into the astral realms, that Greek gods and deities seem to actually exist, as well as Egyptian gods and deities. And so in this video, I just want to talk about an experience that I had with the Egyptian god Anubis. I often say to people, don't attempt to leave your body if you're aroused. You'll tend to attract some succubuses and, and other entities pretty quickly. And let's face it, a lot of us can't control our level of arousal. Sometimes we just wake up like that, right? Just, just don't do it. Even if the experience seems to look great, right? don't do it because what you're not aware of is what that being actually looks like that's attracted to you. It's coming across as all beautiful. As well as to the energy that it's housing and hiding behind closed doors. You see, you might end up leaving your body one day and a very attractive person shows up, you know, and it just looks great. Everything looks great. Everything just seems to feel great. You're getting aroused and nothing is wrong. Yet I had an experience once where that happened to me and when I looked into my mirror, I saw what was actually in front of me. It was three people, or three beings rather, entities, creatures, that were merged into the same thing. It was very creepy. It kind of reminded me of, what is it, The Thing? It's a movie that gave me nightmares a long time ago. I'll put a screenshot so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Horrendous. I didn't see that before I looked into the mirror nor could I feel the actual energy that was exuding off of these creatures that were sitting on my bed. So just don't do it, you know? Even if you've had an experience already with this being. I see so many comments, people are like, oh, I had the, the best experience the other night with my succubus. I'm like, no, 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 you, you don't know what's actually happening. Even if you think you know, there are hidden aspects of that experience that will freaking traumatize you if you were exposed to it. So just, just don't do it. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm young at this point, right? Before I meet Anubis and uh, I'm not even trying to astral project. I was just on an astral projection spree and so my energy seemed to be all over the place. And I'm trying to go to sleep. But as I'm lying there, I notice I can hear something to the right side of me, and as I peek, I can see this thing kind of doing this. I can tell that it's, well, bold. It's basically a shadow figure of a woman. And if I had to guess, she was a black woman. She comes up right close to my face. I'm grossed out at this point because some succubuses or incubuses, the difference there is the gender, some say that they're just one gender and they tend to shift. Some of them just do a very bad job at hiding their energy, you know, their malice and their intent. This was one of those things. <laughs> As it came up to my face and I'm creeped out, it licks my ear. And I'm like, great, because I was forced into this astral projection experience. I can't move. You know, I'm all clunky. Like, I'm taking a while to wake up in this plane. Then I heard a bang on the floor and a growl. <laughs> I can't see what's, you know, by my door, but I just hear that something else has arrived and this thing gets up and freaking runs. About a minute goes by and I'm able to 
you know, take control over my astral body. And as I sit up, I notice that I see someone that looks very, very familiar, only there are some slight changes. I see this jackal holding a staff, and he has a, a headdress on. And as I look at him, I could tell that he was preventing this thing from harassing me. But I could also tell that he was kind of bothered at the fact that he had to come to my aid. So he just looked at me and just kind of went and, and just dismissed me as I walked past him. He wouldn't even look at me. Anyway, I came back to my body and I googled Anubis and I typed in a very specific change. White Jackal Anubis, because he had white fur. He didn't have black fur in the astral plane. I saw probably two photos of a white-haired jackal, and that was it. But what really surprised me, what I didn't know going into the astral projection, was Anubis's role when it comes to the afterlife. You see, he protects those who are passing on from the waking world to the underworld. I had just had an actual experience with a deity, a god, doing his job. And it wasn't the first time that I met Something that I heard about, whether it be in a textbook or on TV, a documentary about the Egyptian afterlife. The Nile, the, the Nile that takes people into, oh, I guess it's through Hades. I've also been there too. That was another experience, which I think I've shared already. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I actually shot this video a long time ago. I just never got around to, to uploading it until today. Astral projection, although it can be scary, if you do it right and at the right times, you don't have to bump into anything like this. It's just back then when I was young, I didn't quite have the, the skill of falling asleep down. I had made myself very astral and I just couldn't fall unconscious anymore. I kept sliding out and so, of course, I end up in those predicaments, but not anymore. Now everything's great. I'm meeting all types of things. <laughs> I'm Ryan JC, Ryan James Cropper. This is about it for today's video. Check out others if you're interested and I'll speak to you all then. Take care. Peace.